What's for supper, madame? It'll be nothing but a glass of water and a worm if you don't fetch your dolly right this instant. Hello, fairies. It's the gateway to the fairy kingdom. Hello. <laughs> Hello, fairy. Josephine, I won't let the foxes eat you. Who's that you have there, little bird? Josephine, she introduced me to the fairies. Oh, fairies, you say? Yes, Daddy. Do you believe in fairies? Of course. Do you see those mushrooms over there? Yes. That's a gateway to their kingdom. That's where Josephine and I go to talk to the fairies. Now, listen to me, Thomasina. Yes? You're old enough now to hear this. There's no such thing as fairies or talking dolls, my little bird. What do you mean? I'm sorry, my dear child. I do not wish to upset you. I just want to make sure that you understand the difference between fantasy and reality. Josephine is just a doll, and fairies do not exist. But, Daddy... Science is the great antidote to the poison of enthusiasm and superstition. Please always remember that. If you hear anything about fairies or the like again, know that it's hogwash. What is it? Hogwash. Did Wally bury the doll, I wonder? must be Jane's ragdoll. Hmm. You're coming with me, little fellow. I shall name you Kenneth. I've already taken one. Perhaps these wriggling worms are the fair folk young Wally was so fearful of. How strange. There is a hairpin pierced through the arm. This may come in handy. I'll keep it. At least I shall not return from Bewley empty-handed. I'm not sure what that would achieve. That's a peculiar idea. I present to you, Myrtle. Myrtle! I missed you so much! Now, I believe we had a deal. Hide and seek! Come back! In moments like these, I thank myself for not having children. They aren't mine to take. Hey, 
Hey! <laughs> Jane? Jane, get out of there! Don't make me come in. Fine. Curses. The hole is too small for me to fit through. <laughs> that won't make the entrance any bigger. I was always happiest with a trowel in my hand, uncovering hidden worlds within the earth itself, clod by clod. That should do it. <laughs> Jane! Jane? Jane, come out this instant. I can't see a damned thing in here. I need a light source. Curses. The useless thing blew out. Jane? 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 I'm not sure what that would achieve. I can't think of anything else to talk about right now. Have one just like this. Good day. Yes. I noticed your spectacular fossil specimen. Oh, I. I collect them. This one is called an. Um... Ammonite. I'm impressed, lass. From the Jurassic period, I'd venture. Do you collect them too, then? My true interests lie in comparatively <sighs> modern history. Oh, I. Well, I do love a fossil. It's important to remember that we all end up in the soil eventually. Quite. Mr. Crozier, might I borrow your lantern? Sorry, lass. I need it. My eyesight is not what it used to be. The extra light helps me see what I'm hammering. I understand. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. The bucket is rusty and full of holes. Hello. Good day. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger. Can I please have a new candle for my room? 
I'll go upstairs and replace it this evening. Can I have one now? It's not dark yet, Miss Bateman. I... never mind. Goodbye. See you soon. I've stored my case in there. A box within a box. The candle has melted. It's not much use anymore. I don't wish to take it. I've hung my dress in. Aside from that... I have nothing else to ask for the time being. I've no use for ashes. Thanks again for the ale, lass. Now leave me be. I must say, last night has rather put me off using these toilets. I can't think of anything else to talk about right now. I could tether a horse here if I had one. I suspect the barrels are empty, otherwise the locals will be rolling them into their cellars. I'd rather not go into those horrible toilets again. about Lord Panswick. Wretched man. They say he is restoring a chapel near his manor. But for whom and to what god, I ask? Is he a man of faith? <laughs> I've barely seen him set foot in St. Edmund's. It doesn't stop him from acting as our god-given ruler. Stay away from him, pet. Don't get yourself tangled up in local affairs. I certainly don't intend to. Why did you call Lord Panswick wretched? He hides in that manner of his and cares not for his people. I've heard stories whispered in the pews, you know. What kind of stories? That he shoots people on sight. Anyone that strays onto Panswick Manor. Good grief! Yet, he will walk into the plough and furrow and bar ale for all and be hailed as our protector. <laughs> I answer to God and God alone. Forgive me, pet. I shouldn't get so worked up. Not at all. I appreciate your honesty, Mrs. De Plancy. Are you sure you don't know where Hobbs Barrow is? Hobbs what? Never mind. Hmm. Father Roach asked me not to discuss that with Mrs. De Plancy. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. I've no time for such things. They are still locked. I can admire the craftsmanship from afar. Stained glass depictions of various biblical scenes. It's not my... This must be where the local vicar sacrifices the newborns. I've no time for such things. They are still locked. It's locked.
What can you tell me about Lord Panswick? Oh, you've heard of his lordship, then? Yes. Do you know him? Aye. He comes into the village from time to time, gives sweets to the children, hires young men to work his land. He's well-liked around here. I sense some hesitation, Mr. Tillett. Well, we kind of have an unspoken agreement with his lordship. He looks after us, provided we leave him alone. I don't follow. He likes his privacy. Some people do. No one is allowed to visit him. Do you mean to say that he's a bit eccentric? No. I've heard people got fired at when approaching his manor uninvited. Good grief! But is this true? Well, I won't be the one to find out. Farewell for now. Tara. I don't think anyone is home. The water is icy cold. The delicate flowers smell rather sweet. They aren't mine to take. I can't pry the fossil from the rock with my bare hands. The trowel is too blunt to chip away at the rock. Jane! Jane? Jane? It's locked. Unfortunately, I don't think the cakes are free. quite see the resemblance myself.
carved stone has been affixed to the door. I think it depicts a crescent moon. It's bolted onto the door itself. I can't remove it. I can't see how that will help me. Hmm. I can't pick this type of lock with a hairpin. That would be rather cruel to the poor worm. That's a peculiar idea. I'm not sure what that would achieve. That is not coming off. sure what that would achieve. No sign of any movement. I've no desire to lug a block of wood about the country. Slightly damp. The trousers feel damp, freshly hung, or still wet from last night's rain. I can't think of anything else to talk about right now. I can't think of anything else to talk about right now. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. Hmm. I'm not sure what that would achieve. I don't think anyone is home. I don't think anyone is home. I can't think of anything else to talk about right now. Hmm. No, that won't work. That's a peculiar idea. I don't think anyone really wants to see my worm. The road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. I can't think of anything else to talk about right now.
I've too much to do today to waste time sleeping. I don't wish to carry the bowl around with me. I've hung my dress inside. Aside from that, the wardrobe is empty. I've stored my case in there, a box within a box. Jammed shut. The wood must have warped over the years. The drawers don't open. I can't store anything in them even if I wanted to. The drawers don't open. I can't store anything in them even if I wanted to. sure they would be interested. I didn't come to Bewley to sweep their streets. The blacksmith is right here. I've no need to go inside. There's nothing else I wish to discuss at the moment. I don't wish to give that away. It's the wrong type of lock for this to work. pick this type of lock with a hairpin. No, that's not it. I've come a long way to meet you, Mr. Shoulder. Please open the door. be rather cruel to the poor worm. What a peculiar name, the Devil's Toe. I can't quite see the resemblance myself. I don't wish to dig it up. I can't see how that will help me. Jane? 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 Mm. 
No, that's not it. The hole is big enough for me to fit now. Just. There's nothing else I wish to discuss at the moment. I'll let him get on with his work. I'll let him get on with his work. I can't see how that will help me. Hmm. No, that won't work. I don't wish to give that away. I have one just like this. I have one just like this. That won't achieve anything useful. Oh. I'm not sure what that would achieve. Hmm. No, that won't work. I have nothing else to ask for. Try to pick the lock whilst Mr. Long is standing there. Hello. Good day. Can I buy you another drink? I suppose one more ale won't hurt. I shall take you up on your offer, Miss Bateman. Let us make our way. To think, if that station hadn't been built, we would never have met. Blessed be the Midland Railway. Idiot! That station is the worst decision this village has ever made! Cyril Farnaby. A miserable man with miserable ideas. I will change your mind even if it kills me. Locked, as expected. I need to get inside without attracting too much attention. Kenneth taught me this useful trick. A hairpin is much more than a hair accessory. A few wiggles and this lock should spring right open. Snapped the hairpin in the process, but I managed to unlock the door. Let's open this envelope. There's a note inside. How very frustrating. I wonder what happened. I'd better get this to the alley before Mr. Long comes back. Moving a fully laden crate through the village square was no easy task. Somehow, no one was there to witness it. But I didn't give up, because I never give up, do I, Mother? I am as stubborn as my father, as you liked to remind me. Wait. 
my money? It's not in here. Kenneth, you absolute liability of a man. It looks like everything else is in here. Picks, specimen trays, shovels. Oh, my chisel, I'll take that. Ah, oh, my lantern. It feels light. There mustn't be any oil inside. I'll leave the rest in the crate. Stanley assured me things would be safe here. No money and no assistant. This is most inconvenient. Still, I've been in worse situations. I've got a tab at the inn for now. I'll worry about money later. I must find that barrow and get on with the excavation.